Hello friends and everyone, welcome back to Netcode Hub channel. In this video, we're going to look at how we can integrate Google search functionality in our Blazor hybrid mobile application. This is actually the fourth video. So if you haven't checked any of them, I strongly recommend that you do. You can find these videos in the description below. Now in these three videos that I have recorded earlier on, we spoke about how we can integrate Google search in our Blazor hybrid app. We spoke about how we can set our current location in the Google map. And also we spoke about how we can add marker to coordinate. So I have the video links in the video description. You can check them out. Now let's say our app is running and we want to make it in a way that user can type in a place, a location, and you're going to have this autocomplete feature enabled where a list of search results will pop up. A user clicks on a certain or a specific result and then the map will relocate to that. Display the map details in the info window um, div. How can we do it? Let's see how we can integrate that. So when you check our project that we created in our solution, when you check our map.js function, that is what we have so far. We have the set marker function, which sets marker. And we have the initialize map, which initializes the map and now center it to the longitude and the latitude coordinate that we're going to provide. Aside from that, we have location, which gives us access to the details of the coordinate. And also we have the set info, which prepares the info window to get it displayed. As you can see the last here. So let's go and integrate this search functionality here. So I'm going to create it as a function. Then we're going to initialize it as soon as the page also initializes all this um, script is called. So um, this is a function that we're creating. I don't think we need this .NET reference for now. Later on, we're going to look at how we can use it. But you see from here, we are having our input, which is going to be um, an ID, because you're going to get this element by an ID. And it means you're going to create a component. Is it a component or an element, input element, which is going to have an ID of search box. And they want to create this autocomplete coming from the Google map. You see, we have this autocomplete. Then we're going to pass on this input. So anything the user pass on to the input is going to have an autocomplete. So you're going to have a list that the user can select from. Then we're going to bind this to the map. Now here, we are also adding an event listener. Now here, this event is waiting for a place change. So in case the list pops up and the user select any, then this is going to get fired. In case um, the info here is not found, we want to alert this user with this message. But well, as soon as you specify a location with the coordinate, definitely is going to be found. So we want to focus on the else statement. We want to extract the longitude and the latitude coordinate in it. So we have it here. After that, you know, we also have in a marker set in place, a method which adds marker to our point or coordinate. So initially, you know, since we have already a, or a default uh, coordinate, when the page initializes, check here, when the page initializes, we have marker set. So we clear it and we're going to set a new marker with your current location, right? So it means we have this marker here set, which has value. 
Now we want to override this marker, so we have to make sure we clear the marker. So that's the reason why we clean it here. We make sure if it exists, we want to remove it and I set the reference to now. After that, prepare a new marker. So we're going to set up with this. We pass in the same parameters with the new title as found location. Then we're going to center the location and now zoom it to 15. So you can see from our default one when the page initializes over here, we center by specifying the latitude and the longitude, right? Then we're going to zoom it. So we can extract only this to a function. Then we can call it here and then call it here in order to stop writing this. But since they are just two lines, that is the reason why I am also repeating the same thing here. And that is the only thing that I need to do to have this search function work. Aside from this, the next thing that I have to do here is to go to your component. So let's save this. Let's go to our home component. And we're going to add an element which will have this ID. So maybe on top of this, a div. Now on top of this, we want to add this element, which will be an input. We have to add the ID. So that ID is what we specified as search box. This is quite important. If you don't do this, this will not work. So you have to make sure you have this ID in there. Now we can decide to give a um, small space between the input and now the um, map itself. So maybe we can add class. Then we're going to say MB1, margin bottom. We want to set one. So we can push this a little bit so we can, it can be free. Okay, that is all. <laughs> so let's see, let's run this and see. So I have my um, Samsung A12 connected. Let's debug through it. So you can see, as soon as I type in, I must have this autocomplete working. Like we see from this, I'm not having this pop up, right? So it means there's something wrong. Let's go and check it. Now you can see from here, this function is not executing. Check our map.js. You can see we have this function created, but we are not calling this function. Did you see that? So as soon as the page initializes, and now this function gets called, after setting up this marker, we can also go and initialize the map. That is quite simple. You forgot this. So check it here from our search box. It seems we omitted. You see? So it isn't the same. That is search box. I believe it's, it's the same now. Okay. Let's rerun this again. So it seems from the look of tense here, we made a mistake here on line 83, whereby we have maps, which should be dot places because we're going to search for places. Then we have the auto complete. Yes. And also one thing, when we check our info window, we have this last name and poster code. Let's add a title here. Now with this title, we can pass on this since we're going to change this, call this dynamically. I say that is a title. And now that means when we go to the set info window, when we check from get location details, we need to pass this title here. Now this get location window. So when the app start initializes, then it's going to set this marker. Now this is the title that you want to display over here. So when you come here, pass the title, and now after passing the title to this marker, when the mouse is hovered, you're going to see the title. And also when you call this get location details, you want to see the title on top. So passing the title. And then when you come to this get location details, it must receive title. Okay. And now here, when you go to this set um, info window, you must pass the title here. Now set info window, we accept the title, then we pass the title here. When we go to our set, we pass the title also because we call the set mapper, which takes in three parameters, latitude, longitude, and the title. Okay. We are defining place here. 
we are using this place but we are not defining this place so when this runs it's going to be an issue you see that so let's have this uh place defined so now that we have this we can go ahead and um, um, use the place extract our um, location format which includes our coordinate and then set the mapper and center the map to this current coordinate okay so once we are done with all this we're going to run this application and check it out so the map is loading now we have our search bar ready and our map itself will also be ready soon yes and we have our current location let's go and make a search so you see as i type i have this pop-up which gives me a list of options that i can choose from if i click on any of them let's see i click on this the map now moves to the location and i could say i have found location it gives me the town and now the state the latitude and the longitude in case it has postal address let's move away from ghana let's go for another country so here we have an and maybe we have an india high commission in ghana no we don't want to do that <laughs> okay so let's do that let's use that and you can see now this where it is so if i'm going there i think i need to i can use my application to locate where it is you see so it is here now let's use another one okay so now i have this from uk germany let's use one oh and now i found a location now you can see how the postal code we have the states we have the town we have the country so that is how you can simply integrate a search functionality in our um, google map in our blazer hybrid application i believe you enjoyed this video as i did if you did so then do not forget to like this video by giving me the thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed then you subscribe to get more content from this channel make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any update as soon as i upload the next video on this google map integration all right thank you for watching and hopefully i'm going to catch you up in the next video